President Moon Jae-in highlighted Seoul and Washington's strong military alliance at a gathering with top military officials from both nations. He believes this relationship was clearly demonstrated during coordination response to some recent developments. Park ki jun starts us off from the nation's top office. President Moon Jae-in says the ironclad alliance between South Korea and the United States was demonstrative for their joint response toward North Korea's recent provocations. Uh, Hamidongmen 새롭게 더 추가적인 도발을 하지 않는 한 대화의 모멘텀을 유지해 나갈 수 있게 되었습니다. This came during a luncheon with the top South Korean and U.S. military commanders at the Blue House on Tuesday. It was the first meeting with such a select few commanders from the two sides since President Moon took office. The president emphasized that the driving force of the peace process on the Korean Peninsula is a two country strong partnership. He said improved inter-Korean relations and the easing of military tensions based on that alliance are helping the denuclearization talks between Pyongyang and Washington. General Robert Abrams, commander of the U.S. Forces Korea, also thanked President Moon for his support, which has allowed the military to maintain readiness against any situation. We thank you for your leadership and your continued support on the issues that matter to us most. Under your administration and your leadership, the Republic of Korea Armed Forces enjoys historic levels of resourcing, which makes our alliance stronger and prepares us for any potential crisis or future threat. The president stressed that the two countries' alliance should not be a temporary one. He says it needs to continue even after peace is established on the Korean Peninsula to secure the peace and stability of the entire Northeast Asian region. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.